Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's CBS Soccer here. Uh, we got some good stuff for y'all today. We got some good stuff, man. On this, and I'm hoping y'all having a good morning. What is y'all should see this video? Um, look at here. Look what we got. The trail I've been talking about. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not meaning to do this. I'm trying to get a good angle for you. Hang on. I'm on, on the excavator for to change it up on there. Alright, we got our Kenworth. Like I said, we won't be pulling all the heavy stuff with this. They go to um flatbed uh with your low boy with all the wheels on it for carrying tens and thousand tons of pounds on the back of that thing there. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this real quick, the excavator. What's unique about this, you can see the chains and all that. Which you can see all the chains on the other one too, but it don't have no oversized load sign on the back of And the ramp, you would think it attached from the front right here. Right there with that at, right there, the circle. But The trailer don't attach by pulling the truck away from the trailer so you can lower the truck up the track up on the trailer. This is how you do it. Let me angle it a better way. I don't know why I keep on doing it. My hands are stucky. Alright, so look at the back part of the tail of the trailer. That's how that slide right on out. And then once you get out to a far distance, hang on, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. All right, it got out there like a far angle right there. Now then it just dropped the tailgate back there. Then you can unload it so it lifts up first. And then it slides on back in. Like so. I think this thing got like 30 wheels on it. But anyways. Back to the other goodies. We got some more goodies y'all. Check this out. Got the freight liner with the dump truck. I told y'all I was going to do it man. I don't stunt. I am about to stunt. If I do stunt. It's going to be for that split second of telling y'all what I'm going to get. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just go ahead and get that. That's stunting for a minute. But then when I get it, I'm going to say, hey, it ain't been no stunting. Because I ain't stunting on not telling y'all the truth. I tell y'all the truth. You know, but I've been stunting at the same time. But here you go, this money green machine. This is new um, trailer right here. I can't demonstrate yet because um, I'm not allowed to do it. When I don't have a load on me. So. We got the two dump trucks with the trailer. The two trailers. Truck and track. Track the trailers. Finally got the kid worth. Which I already seen. But now y'all get to see in action. Which we can do a couple of jobs with that. With um, transporting. So. We got a lot of tutorials to do. I need to catch up on. So I could be making more money by giving the skills that I need to be given. So let's go ahead and jump into a contract, y'all, without further ado. Let's go ahead and get this contract. We gonna need something at least 500 grand. So we can hit that million mark. The goal is to hit that million mark. So this is a special contract for Deer Street Road Construction. 
we need to excavate the area um, can no work Kennel works. Mm, you gotta do transport and excavate it and got dang on some crank work and stuff like that. Roll the foundation. What you gonna need? Concrete roller. Well, um, yeah, roller and more excavating. Um, and delivering. Road construction. You see, you're gonna need a uh, roller, a pay uh, steam roller, and some asphalt. Uh, not gonna do that though. Even though that I put that at the mayor mark um, right on the head, we're gonna do something more smaller than that there. Well, we got some good ones right here. We got a house we can build. We got a three-story building we can build. Um, another, uh, what is this? A, a dictionary addition, whatever it is, a tall building, look like about a four story building. And we got some transporting scraps that we can do with the flatbed that's for $176,000. And we got, um, production hall with parking lots. We can build that. It didn't take really nothing to do. Transport some soil to the site. Paving asphalt. Compact asphalt. Bring um, construction material. Build wall. Oh, that's not like a piece of cake. For $300,000. That's not going to put us at the million man mark though. So, we need something that's going to put us at the million man mark. <laughs> and the only thing on this list, we got three, three, three minutes up on top of right here, the con company contracts, new contracts in two, two minutes and 56 seconds before this contract renew itself and be different stuff you can choose. And we're not going to wait for that, so. Um, I'm thinking about go ahead and get this big job right here, y'all. This um house with roof, uh, turrets. Uh, so prepare foundation, um, ground floor. Oh man. Oh man. Uh, staircase, floor. Uh, first floor. Second floor, top floor. So we gotta. This is just, this right here is going to put us at a million man march. Well, I ain't going to say that. It's going to put us at a million man, a million dollars. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and set this job, you know, because we need it. All right. Let's go do these big construction um, stuff and see what we can do. We got three dump trucks, so we should be able to be able to carry a lot of stuff um, back and forth. No problem. All right. So what I need to do is first we need to bring a stable excavator to this construction site, which we got right there. So let's go ahead and hop into our heavy hauler. Listen to that baby pearl. Let me let me turn it up for y'all so y'all can hear that baby pearl. Oh yeah, let me show y'all this right here. Watch how this trailer turn. Oh yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? The trailer turn like, if you was on a shop street, maybe in the city or something like that. You know how one of them, let me turn this down a little bit. How one of them fire trucks sound. I mean, stare like them, them long fire trucks inside the city. 
We got a man steered in the back of it. That's how this trailer steered. It's tight. So it looks like the building will be up on our left. I don't know. Make it left and then another left. Look like they got a material building on the left side of us. All new locations, y'all. All new locations. We just came for our new headquarters. We right now we in um Westgate, the new area that we was trying to get built. Um, get the road clear out that we that we got the road clear out. So we over here now. Big city, nice city. I like it. I think I like in this part of town better. More clean and just more sight to see. So the construction site on our left side, I'm just drop this off in there. Let's go ahead and pop that like that there, like so. Let me pull up a little bit more. Yeah, and a bunch of little grip spots. Oh, that's a trailer turning like that. When I'm turning so hard, the trailer turning hard too. I like it, but I don't like it at the same time. I'd rather have the um, the regular low boy with maybe you know a couple different axles on it. But who knows what the, what the game give us. Maybe in the next one they can do a little bit more Americanized trailers and stuff. I'm just gonna put this over here. I'm gonna start excavating. I need to go get the cement truck ready. I ain't run no red light, man. They cheat me this night. You know what? I need to sue the city for that one. That's, that's, that's right there. It's false. That's false discrimination right there. So we're going to leave that right there. We're going to jump over here to the dump trucks because we don't want to waste none of this dirt, this material we can use to put in our trucks and get paid, get some money from it instead of putting it on the ground. And when you finish the job, the dirt just disappears. Now nah, we're going to take our dirt with us. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get you already know I got a man. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, when you see, now I see the freight line in action. So let's go ahead and get the new truckers in action. Let's go ahead and pull it out. Yeah, I put a big boy out. Hey, dang, you're right around the corner. I put a big boy out because it can hold more. Let's go ahead and get this camera right so it don't keep changing on me. That's one thing about those short trailers. You, you ain't got to turn that hard for it to turn, you know. 
I'm pretty good at this back end now, but. I used to play like, uh, I come from the world of 18 wheels on steel, so. I know what I'm doing when it comes down to back in these trucks. Uh. And I'm going to I'm 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 attempt to do something that I don't think nobody, they, I mean, they think they, I think they try, but I don't think nobody ever been, been able to pass um, doing what I'm going to do on ATS when I get, um, when I get involved in that game. Like they, like they tried, but they just give up on it. Like there wasn't no hope on doing it. Yes, it is. It's, you just got to not be patient, but you got to go slow. And you got to know which way the trail is going to turn if you're carrying doubles. I don't know about triples. Triples might be a little bit more to it. But, um,. When you're carrying doubles, it's easy to back those things up if you just take your time. And I'm going to show you how to get it done when I get on there. I'll probably be the first one ever to do it. Not the first person to attempt to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to back those things up perfectly. How I know I can do it because I've been practicing. I used to play uh, 18 wheels of steel. As a matter of fact, I still got that game. I got 18 wheels of steel across America. And they got doubles on it. And um and I already been practicing a lot on on the back of the doubles up inside the lines. And it, it's it's hard, but at the same time it ain't hard. You just gotta have the right speed, the right control, when you got to know which way you're gonna turn or how fast it's gonna turn if you go this way and what that trailer is going to do if you do this trailer that way because your focus is having the trailer that's already connected to the tractor so you got the focus on oh shit I think I threw that dirt on <laughs> the other side of the uh, truck anyways but your focus is to have the, tr track, the trailer that's connected to the tractor moving in the direction opposite then the way you want the trailer to turn, the back trailer to turn. So you can get the back trailer to turn in the way that you want the trailers to be turned at, if that makes sense. So you got to have the trailer that's hooked to the trailer, the tractor, turning opposite or away from the way you want to turn at with the back trailer. You got to have the back trailer turn it in the direction of the way you want the trailers to be at and then once you don't get that up um back back up like that in the right um spot then you can pull it up a couple of times maybe three or four times however times but it's going to be straight you don't got to pull up you just inch it up every time inch it up and inch it back you know what i'm saying and you'll eventually get it but it's a lot of tight spaces involved inside um, ATS that might be a challenge for me so I'm uh, just looking for the challenge in the game the difficulty no I'm not too much doing any all that heavy hauling but I'm just looking for a challenge that I haven't chanced myself to challenge <laughs> if that makes sense but uh yeah and plus it's, it's, it's traveling across the, uh, the real America I um, always play all the 18 Wheels of Steel games and I'm looking forward to getting into that because I should be a part of that because I'm a big fan of 18 Wheels of Steel. I had all of them. So that's to get 18 Wheels, um, not 18 Wheels of Steel, um, truck. Dang, what do you call it? America Truck Simulator. Gotta get that. Well, I already got it on standby. Just waiting for my um, pieces to come in. My um, computer pieces. And then I'll be right there on it. And hope 
Exactly. We got people who still watching it. Because I wouldn't mind. I'm just gonna still you know, do it. Alright, the truck is full. I'm interested in seeing how that thing dumps, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other dump truck. Just to show it off. I was going fast empty it, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, empty it the correct way because I uh, I I haven't tested out and see how it look when it's dumping. So that's what we gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out of here. No, we don't need a crate in it. This road is closed. too close but anyways we're gonna leave it right there and just move it around but yeah I enjoyed this game man um Christian uh, yeah I heard you say you seen my comment on uh Google Google Play yeah I did a comment on it man because I feel like yeah this game will be, you know, at its best potential if it can be online. You know, we can have people that we can play with. That'd be tight. Um, and we had a uh, pickup truck, so we won't have to drive all these uh, heavy duty trucks when we don't really want to. And we want to check, explore the map basically, drive around the map, and be able to click off, like off duty or something like that. So. You won't have to worry about. Well, you still got to worry about your payments and stuff. Your bills rolling around, but you need calendars. It should go off of calendars or something like that, so you can be able to track. You can be able to track um, how fast you got to go through the week, or, or do you, if you need a job before the week roll over before you got to pay your bills. You know what I'm saying? So you can have time to explore the map and. Just drive around instead of working. But other than that, yeah, you need a truck, a pickup truck, or any kind of car you would like to have to be able to buy one of those. This is an excavator now. This is an excavator. So don't make it look like a weakling. Hang on, let me excavate myself. See if we can get this thing down. That's not realistic. Hang on. I should be able to get up out of this. You know, that's that bull crap right there. 
But anyways, we're gonna <laughs> let's go ahead and reset because uh oh, really they got me they're gonna reset me all the way in the street. That's alright. We professionals. That's the name of this thing, Excavate Turd. I could have get myself out of the hole I would money before my bills do and I want to at least run at least these two loads and test out the dump trucks on it the dump trailers and see what they look like so we're gonna run those two loads this this job right here should put us at the the million the million mark if not at least we, at least we be at uh, at least a dollar away from a million mark. I don't want to I want to scratch it out there. That's what I was trying to do, get closer. So without falling in this, right about there. See, put that there. Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to cut these lights on. Shout out to all my supporters, man. All my subscribers. Whoa, I see you, whoa. Two woes, I see you, whoa. How you doing on that road, whoa? Get yeah, my brother on here, like. My brother named Whoa, too. Where that truck drive at, though, man? I know you be checking me out, man. How you doing on that road out there? Everything going good for you. You had a uh, happy Christmas with your family and stuff. All right, those loaded up, so let's go ahead and get those. Let's go ahead and get these trucks rolling. I'm going to go ahead and tell him to follow. If he can, he can't follow. Nope. Looks like he can't follow, so... I'm going to go ahead and take this one. See... That's why it'd be a good idea for this this game to be multiplayer because I could have had somebody or maybe two people driving and stuff like that, loading everybody up while I, and they take the dirt while I'm doing the um the digging the site up. I 
I'm going to the new gravel pit area site. So a little ways down, not too far. It was too far, I wasn't doing it. <laughs> when they say time is matter, time is a matter. Time and consistency. Consistency means like how fast you can well like staying on the on a site and just keep on working while you got the uh, the trucks flowing and everything moving quickly. And what I can do about this by moving these quickly is emptying it automatically instead of doing it manually and driving over here. So I'm gonna bring the green one too, and then after I dump that to demonstrate how these dumps work, I'm gonna just go ahead and automatically dump it. So we're gonna swing this backwards. Let's go ahead and straighten this up a little bit. Too hard, turn too hard. All right. Well, realistically, we're going to put it all the way up there. That's empty. You come down by yourself and be grabbing a... Uh... Hold up, how am I still jumping dirt on the ground? You see that? They said it was empty. Anywho. Back to the site. That put us at 500 grand. The jackknife. Oh, we're gonna lose our trailer. This truck sensitive. Like a female. Nah, I'm gonna go ahead and take the highway part because too much red lights on that one. While I do that, when I bring this back, I'm not going to just bring the green one back. I'm going to go ahead and load this up. And then, after I load this up, I'm going to get the green one. And the green one will get its turn. Make sense? Make sense? Give it a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying watching this. Cause I know I do. I know I do. I can do like two of these. Um, let me go ahead and move this green truck. I can do two jobs. Like I can fully do, maybe finish this one in one day. Uh, even though it's a three story building, I can finish this in one day. Um, in a couple of hours. It'll probably take park that right there and after I finish this one I'll, I'll just jump on a smaller one do like maybe two you know two jobs yep 
turn it that way there. Oops. About right there. Right, let's get it on. Probably drop a lot of that out there. Yep. Probably drop a lot of that on the other side of the ground over there. I like how this thing hit big man. This thing they way better than the um the back hole. But I got smaller jobs inside. Back back over there and over there in the springs over the other side, the first side we came from. That I can um touch up with that um back hole without leaving it out, forgetting about where you know, where you come from. Or we can pick up some small change when we need to make quick money. right back to where I came from. It's all about it. It's all about starting from small and working to big. And always know you can go back small if you end up not having big stuff anymore. Just know how to get your money back where you've been at. So, that's part of being a hustler, baby. You can't have it given to you all the time. Fill it right there. Yep. So I'm aware to get the green one up out of here. Matter of fact, we're going to pull this one on up here. Good 
this one I'm gonna go ahead and empty by itself but I'm gonna go ahead and um get the green one up out of here okay, get big green up out of here his turn to shine I gotta put this truck in the shop because man. yeah 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 and I'm um, pulling how it's supposed to be and use a pulling power on it so after this this um, job I'm gonna put it in the shop and repair it It, just, it should have jake brakes when you let off the gas it should yeah um the jake brakes should come on when you let off that gas you just bust a whole u-turn see i see i ain't pulling high posted it just sound like he ain't giving no, he ain't giving no gets you know <laughs> shit it's trying to be hauling like to hear that engine just ooh, trying to pull that thing it just sounds like you're just struggling let's go ahead and get this camera angle get that on out there Stay empty now. Alright, seven racks. So we get seven thousand out of that. Using we normally get four thousand out of gravel, regular old sand and stuff from the small dump truck so ain't bad seven dollars out of the big dump truck that put us at a total of 14 well maybe 15,000 15,000 Should have been able to make the right turn, but this truck so long. Yeah, it looked like I'm going straight, and they give me a ticket. I think I can do a a, a right turn on red inside the flatbed and the small duck truck. Two cats. Not an easy one, so. But right, we're gonna get the foundation built. And we're gonna make parts inside this video, so it will be a be continued. Oh yes, it will be a be continued. So right, we know y'all want some of this money, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, I want that money. And if it, y'all can't get none out. All right, so we're going to just go ahead and click on that, and then we're going to just empty it. You're going to empty the, the freight line out there, so watch it just disappear. Voila. 7,000. There it goes, all empty. So just one more load of this should be, should be it, should fill this up. Um, should get us, get it right. Looks like I'm stuck again. Oh, maybe not. I'm trying to. There you go. Close enough. Close enough. Alright. Right about right here. Yeah. There you go, I told you. At least one more, one more dump. So we're gonna take this little bit of dirt. That probably like maybe a couple bucks. We can get our ticket paid off. <laughs> yeah, they take a. That's all right. I know it'll be coming. Put that right there back. All right, so let's clear the area. Since I'm being an excavator, if you can't excavate. Excuse me, y'all. It's like one of them late morning type of yawns. But I gotta put this video out there for you because I'm feeling I need to do it. And I'm feeling I need to do it because I like to play it, so. Sometimes you just use video games to go to sleep sometimes. Like, you can't figure a way to put yourself to sleep because you're unsleepy. You play that game until you get tired. So I'm going to pop this right here. And I'm going to get these trucks up out of here. So 
So that's what I do when I, um, I use video games to put me to sleep like a medicine. Yeah. It's all stress reliever. And since I record these videos, it's like, why not let y'all enjoy it too, you know? Maybe I'll put you to sleep with this boringness. Get a thumbs up on that if you agree. <laughs> uh. Uh, so we're gonna uh, see what we need next. Okay, we need to pour concrete. And after I pour concrete, I'm going to get the crank ready, set in position. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and drop this truck off right here and put this truck, this, my day one truck cab, um, green money, big green inside the the shop because it need working on I ain't, I ain't fixed this truck since I had it so it's time to treat it right it's telling me I need to treat it right I'm not going to be working anymore never mind the backing up because I came in the wrong side so but I'm telling you I'm a pro, baby. I'm a pro. Give me likes on that one of you think I'm a pro. Nah, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> There's a lot of y'all looking at that dang on thumbs down. Um, <laughs> the thumbs down one. Me emoji. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. Boom. In the shop. I'm going to go in the shop and pay for the repair of it yeah all my trucks need repair let's go to the show show hall 15,000 to repair go ahead and take that should be able to customize that I put a lot of chicken lights on it chicken lights all over the um, side of the truck and in front of the truck in on the visors. Yep. So now we got to get the concrete mixer. Let's get back in there. Let's get back in there real quick. Let's bring up my concrete mixer. She need repair too. There she blows. Nope, oh, wrong one. There she blows. Alright y'all, so we're gonna haul over to the to the concrete area. New not the new site. It's gonna be a nice big old building here. <laughs> nice ouch building. It's a long job right here, I tell you that there. Alright, so it is a concrete place over there that is not listed as a concrete place. But I'm gonna pull up in it anyway to see if we can use it. Just to just to just to see if we can do it. See that um, green doesn't come up on the right hand side. That's the concrete place. I'm gonna let y'all see 
the sign that, that it says you can see concrete steel and concrete but let's see what we got it says see steel and um which what whatever steel and um works or something like that but they don't have any loading area where I can load the concrete up let's go up in here it's got some stuff in here though oh we got steel and shit also excuse my language so we got um this we can buy all the pipes and stuff at okay that's good to know so it's not a concrete area why you got concrete well, all right, I got you. That's why they got concrete because these are concretes. Duh, cool. All right, so we're going to the regular gravel pit we just came from. They're this concrete inside the truck. Or I can do a quick, you know, a quick pour inside it. But like we said, we're going to do these demonstrations. And then if I need any more concrete, I just do the quick pour. At least through one demonstration. Oh yeah, we hitting some speeds now. Even though this truck seems like it need repair, I mean, they say it need repair, but it runs, it runs like it don't. You see how they do when they got uh, cement inside of it. You can hit a baseball field over there, just everybody in the ears. I don't know if it's baseball or uh... Yeah, it's baseball. Excuse me. Jake Briggs! Lights running. Oh, show it up. Let's go get them lights running. All right, so we're gonna get this foundation. Oh shit! Oh shit, y'all. Hang on. My bath and not read it. So the concrete is going to be on uh, this side over here. That's for the concrete. If I ain't mistaken, this is the concrete. I need to go back at the gate and read it with um with direction is the concrete. I that's okay, that's not the concrete, this is the concrete right here. Because I know that's not it. It's a blick. So this tube is the concrete because it got like a narrow. And I'm coming in the wrong side. Oh well, let's get it pouring. Trucks full. Fourteen rackums. Excuse me. I'm coming in the wrong side. Anyway. Oh, 
trigger to be be able to use that axle right there. Just to drop the axle. Anybody coming from that way? Oh man, I forgot about that speed. That's the trap. The speed and trap right there. And that's how I'm seeing it makes it pick up speed fast. Pretty soon I'm going to need that um, Kingworth um, ceiling mixer because when it comes to building these skyscrapers, what I'm doing a little small one right now, it's like you know, three stories, so I'm going to need that big cement holder to hold more cement. So, I can't drop the axe. I want to drop the axe so bad. Just to use it. Uh, or like the, that's one thing you should do uh, make sure you can be able to use everything on the truck that needs to be used like for instance the bucket only got one extension on it for pouring the concrete you only got one um, extension um, thing you can use but it got multiple on the platform of the side of the truck that you can be able to grab should be able to click it and add extra extension but you only got one so future reference let us use every expert of the trucks that we got that means axles extra axle for hauling heavy um, heavy stuff on in city environment like this is city so I should be able to drop that, that axle to support the weight when I'm loaded and um, add an extra extension to this bucket that I'm moving right now so I'm gonna go ahead and click it and put the extension out right now this one extension but if you look right there under the spinning right there above the two tires there's another bucket extension I can use that I can't use you feel me but anyways back to it and just a future reference Gonna easily put this little concrete in here. I want to jump this thing down there so bad, but um, you already know how we gonna have to do it. So I'm gonna need to turn this off. I'm gonna need to jump to the dump truck. I gotta get the flatbed and I gotta get the concrete bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my flatbed out of here. Retrieve. Do you really want to retrieve this vehicle? Yes, I do. Give me it. You have the maximum? Okay. So I'll just go ahead and put the dump truck inside the building. Yes, you can go in the building. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the flatbed. I got the maximum um, trucks out there, that's why I couldn't grab my flatbed. So it's a limit to how many vehicles you can have out in the game. Let me go ahead and grab my bucket and the material. Concrete bucket, go to storage equipment. Here we go. Now it should be on the side of the building over here. There it is. Oh, that's tight. They got a little loading dog. Let me go ahead and back up right since they got a little loading dog here. Yeah. Let me turn these lights on. Got a loading dock. 
should have been able to use the loaders up, like, instead of me having to unravel this thing. I should back up to the loading dock and it should be able to put it on automatic just because I'm at the loading dock. And just some future reference now. I'm throwing it out there. The idea is I'm throwing it out there. If any game creators that create this game watching, you know you like to watch your own game, so if you hear this, it's just future reference now. I'm just saying, you know, maybe you can use it. Little, little tips and pointers, that's all. They're gonna gain, they're gonna gain. Maybe I should say that one more time a little bit clear. I'm gonna say that one more time. When you load when you back up to your dock, you should be able to when you go in and grab your materials from out your warehouse and you got a dock to back up to. Instead of you have to unravel this crank right here, the um, load your trailer, it should automatically put the bucket or your material on your flatbed for you to be able to haul it. As long as you back up to your dock, you see what I'm saying? Put a thumbs, put a thumbs up if you you feel it, feel the idea. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that down. Scrap the load down. And we up out of here. And if you don't like my ideas, put a thumbs down. And make sure you put a comment in, in the comment section so we can uh, figure out how to fix the problem. <laughs> Solve it. Solve it. And, uh, I don't need to back all the way up there. I'm going to just uh, bring my crane in. Yep. Oh, I got an, uh, enough vehicles out already, so... I want to haul my truck back. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, since we're not using the freight liner. Give me a second, I'm gonna put the freight liner inside the storage because I can't bring the crane out. So we're gonna unhook. Drop the landing gear and throw this truck right on in there. So we got the trailers just sitting in the parking lot. Let's go ahead and jump back to my flatbed. Alright, let's get the crane out here. There we go. Got the crank. I can't zoom. I can't look in the air right now. If you if you want to see up in the air, I can't look in the air. But I can unscrap this trailer. Load is release. I can get into the crank. Grab the bucket. If you don't know what a bucket for is the bucket is for concrete so it'd be easy since I don't have no extension on the, um, the, the cement mixer it's like having this bucket it help helps um with pouring inside difficult areas for the crank but um cement mixer can't reach so I'm gonna lift it up over this And we're gonna put it about right there under the cement mixer. Just a little bit, bring it over. Put it down. Right about there. I'm gonna jump back in it. Wiggle this over there a little bit. Start pouring it in. 
and the bucket is folding up. We'll call it three. Alright, bucket is full. Turn it off. Now, jump back in the crate. Let's go back into a different camera angle so you can see the bucket do your work. Alright, so that's what I mean by touching the spots that the semen mixer can't touch. It's hard to find that sweet spot to start pouring at because of everything in the way. So you can see you can see everything pouring right now. <clears throat> Which I'm already empty almost. Alright, bring it back. I'm all over the place. Yeah, I'm empty. Let's go back over here. <laughs> Put that right there. empty What the heck this thing ain't one turn no more? Hang on. The crane ain't one turn no more, really? Why they crank acting like it don't want to turn no more? They got acting weird right now. Hang on. Oh man, please don't tell me I gotta fix the crank. Repair the crank, really? Hang on, y'all. All right, hang on. This is. Let me see. No. All right. So we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this. I think my crank need repairing. Cause it ain't functioning right. Drop that right there. Cook this crate. We're gonna put it back inside the hall. We're gonna fill this back up. Eleven thousand and fill it up. And um we're gonna jump back over to the building. We're gonna repair the um, crane and put it back inside the field. See we got to pay um 
we got to fix our vehicles if we cut down cars too so yeah I'm, I'm saying i'm trying to make it to that million dollar mark though we're gonna try let's go ahead and get this crank repaired Eighteen thousand. Here it is. All right, let's go ahead and get it back on the field. No time to lose. No time to lose. Only time to gain. Make sure you subscribe, man, so you can get more notifications from this this type of gameplay if you like watching this. Uh, if I entertain me with it, instead of being all dull and just sitting there watching it. Which I understand that part too. Some people just like to watch it, but if you feel like you're getting a little entertained by watching it, make sure you subscribe, man. And I will bring more to you directly to you you will be able to see all the notification of this game all right so i got it fixed let's see if that was the problem because i remember i used to haul butt in this machine all right so yeah that looked like it been a problem it's moving now it's actually moving it's working it's working No worry, y'all. I got a, I got plenty more content in mind to bring to the channel. You know, just get, bear with me. Give me some time, and that way have it. Oh, why well, it seems like I get stuck in this look, this little area right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can reset the the crank. Yeah, it's like it don't want me to turn or, or turn to the, the right side no more. I don't know. I don't know if I'm lagging out there too much. Okay, now I can do it. So maybe I gotta bring the hook up. Instead of keeping it low, bring it at least to the middle of the this the air surface well air, the air grab in middle of gravity let's try that out mm -mm. as you can tell me like you can see like I got it locked hmm that's interesting. Let me put it out there real quick. I was doing pretty fine with that. Uh, hmm. I see something here. Maybe. Okay, still doing it on this side too, so it's like. Hmm. I've been over there, I've been doing it just fine though. I'm rotating just fine, like you know, being perfect and just being perfect and just being perfect, you know. Now I'm gonna act up a shit. Excuse my language. All right, so we ain't gonna waste no more time with that. We gonna bring this thing on truck, yeah. Back it up to the bucket right there. We just gonna keep on rolling. We're gonna be regular. We're gonna try to rig it out. 
Break it out, figure it out. Oh, you're gonna have to move because you're, you're causing damage now. You're causing damage. Hang on. I know what that problem is. Boom. You're causing damage now. Might be acting like that just because of the um I it was right here with the what you call it. Let's see if I can get closer to this. Mm, wish me luck man. Let's see if I can get closer to this without falling in there. That's why you got them them wheels right there. You can pull it up a little bit. I gotta be able to reach right there. Let's go ahead and get it running. Yep. Yeah, boy. Almost full. Let's full boy to shut it off. Jump back into the mess up crank. Scratch extend it out there. Hopefully we can get um get it by just putting it towards the middle out there. Yeah, get it running. Yep. Keep scratching it out. There we go. Yes. All right. So we got that concrete poured into the proper element oh we got the port of other concrete into the proper element let me go ahead and stop this from running real quick let's go ahead and lift it up let's get a bigger angle on our foundation of it a better angle let's go ahead and scratch it out a little bit more Here we are. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to unhook. I'm just trying to get a better camera angle on it. There we go. Pouring it into the foundation. Is it pouring? There it is. It's filling up. back to the truck I don't know why the crane acting like that man I'm gonna have to need a better crane or something me don't like that situation back that on up wiggle that on around about right there hit that switch Better angle in. Alright, it's full. Let's get it back up there. You can see at it, um, Filling up inside the foundation right now. All right. Let's go ahead and get that bucket running. And look inside the cracks. You can see it's filling up. All right. 
Alright, so stop. I'm trying to figure out why I'm not going over to the right or left. Like, what's up? I got you fixed. Let's just keep on rolling. It's it's falling, but it's not. The animation is not letting it fall out like empty. So we're gonna keep it running. Let me just try to pull it right here on this side over here. And then, um, since this crane is acting up right now, and I guess it's glitching out or something, we're going to try to do the rest of the, the foundation concrete pulling um, with the tractor, with the uh, concrete mixer. Alright, bucket empty. set this down right here and we're going to use the concrete pour mix it for the rest let's go ahead and take that extension off real quick We just have to move it around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Got to slam them up and in the right way. Let's go ahead and get it pouring. Is filling up. Slowly inching away, slowly inching away. So you're right there, let me do your thing. Alright, uh, look like it stopped. It's, it's slow, it's real slow, so I'm gonna put the rest right here. Let's go ahead and take that extension off. Find that sweet spot. It's inching, it's inching. Extension on. All right, let's go ahead and fill this thing back up. So, thirteen. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Get it around. 
on this side here. Let me fix this camera real quick. About right there. I think I hit it right on the head. Yep. It's going slow, so we're going to move to a better spot where we can take all of it. Put it right up in there. Right there. I'm just slamming that truck in there. Pull it up. Well, okay, we got that side there paved, um, concrete poured in. So, the other side over there, I'm gonna have to move this crank because, for one, it's not operating right. I'm gonna have to come back and get it. Oh, you know they just want to take some money from me now. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> tired of waiting to take my money. Turn this off real quick. I think I'm stuck. Let's go flip the bucket back in so we don't get no glitches holding me back.
so we got that finished yo um now we got to bring pallets of wood two time pallet of wood two time pallet of CLT tender loving gear nah that's T yeah that's TLC backwards but anyways we got to bring some care loving tender to the um, construction site which we're gonna do in the next one guys so with that being said check out the foundation that we just completed let's see how it look okay we got some stairs built some steps and it's a pretty deep one it's a uh, big old basement and that's that blue area right there is where we're going to place our material at when we bring it with the flatbed in the next one see you guys in the next one thanks for stopping by checking me out peace